we can use something called the anaerobic speed reserve, which is the speed range from the maximal aerobic speed, which we spoke about just a bit earlier, through to the maximal sprinting speed. And that range, if you plot those two landmarks across your group, so your six minute or 2K time trial in your sprinting speed, you essentially get a spread of differences within your group, right? So some people that are very speed oriented, some that have a good balance of both, and some that are more endurance dominant. So here are some player examples of that. So we got Charlie Cameron, a sprinting speed there. That would be around just approaching 10 meters a second. We've got a hybrid profile. So someone who's very good, both on the endurance side and both on the sprinting side. Again, this, this sprinting speed is north of 10 yeah. meters a second. And then we got Sam Walsh averaging, you know, in one particular season here, 15, 15 Ks in a game. Do you do you break up or do you create an extra group to help with the logistics of it all? Or yeah, and and Yeah, so some good examples like you you might be listening to this and going, okay, well, this sounds nice, but I've got 45 in my squad and how do I do this? Well, I think most people are pretty good at individualizing in the moment. Mm. You know, so you turn up at a session and go, okay, well, you had a hard day yesterday or we know you're more explosive okay we're gonna back this off slightly but i think there's a better way forward here and that is instead of writing 45 individual plans is to have a speed plan a hybrid plan and an endurance plan and your hybrid plan is probably a crossover of a mix and match of the two because the risk with hybrid profiles is because they're good in both areas, they can get pulled too far in both areas. What would be the minimum time for to, to get a critical speed stimulus? Is that you mentioned ten minutes there with the speed athletes, like for your endurance? Is it twenty minutes or? I think in a week you want to be getting them up towards like fifty minutes, fifty six. Yeah, so so you could yeah if you had four warm ups you could do, yeah, you know, not that you would, but let's say ten minute slots and then. And then do an extra cross training hit of twenty somewhere in there, and then you've got your forty on legs yep. and twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would, th I would, you, because you have limited pitch conditioning time, I would yeah. spend that time on the faster stuff. Yeah, right. I would spend it on the sport specific mechanics of high speed running, the sprinting speed when they're fresh, the acceler acceleration deceleration. Obviously, the time aspect of it, which I think we've we've tackled that aspect and, and listeners that are looking mm. after high performance programs, the fact that the modes, not everything that you can, there's flexibility there. I think that makes it a lot easier from a practical point of view to fit it in with your week and fit it in perhaps yeah. and sell it to the athletes as, as part of recovery as well as improving their performance. Yeah. And, and there is evidence for that, by the way, you know, that the low intensity stuff can be really rejuvenating for the parasympathetic system. Mm -hmm. And so what you might find is, you know, there's a lot of like day one off, day two recovery as well. Yeah. Well, at the end of a end of a year, that's a hundred to 150 training days. And that's a lot in mm. terms of the aerobic system mm. and maybe doing something low and moderate day one post kickstarts that recovery and less people need that day two case by case. But I think we're giving away a lot of training time for free. On low intensity zone two under LT one, how much is too much for speed profile? What is the minimal dose for endurance profile? Would you do it only over off-season, pre-season, question mark? Yeah, so to answer the last question first, no, I wouldn't only do it in off-season, pre-season, because that's a key part of building the bank account, right? So if you stop making deposits and your moderate intensity isn't controlled, you can suddenly find that you're not actually making deposits when you thought you were. That's the really dangerous place to end up in. Then you end up in a scenario where you go, oh, we thought the players were fit because they'd done all this work, but they were working too hard. They weren't executing right. And it was all intensity. How much is too much for speed profile? Well, I think first thing, modality really matters. I would take them off feet because when they express force the recovery cost is really high for them right so do everything you can to mechanically protect them mm. 